Am I live? Am I live? What is up, guys? Andrew here, and welcome to Comic Booker. All things comics from a creator. So, uh, happy Sunday. It is Sunday morning here in New York City, uh, about 10.51 a.m. And I have been drawing, so I figured we should make it a, a little live stream. Uh, so, here is a... A little bit of fan art I've been making for the past few days. I've been sort of doing it on my commutes in the morning because, you know, I just had this cool idea for a matchup between um, two books that I've been really enjoying recently. Uh, Raphael Grampa's Batman Gargoyle of Gotham and Christian Ward's Batman City of Madness, which are both like I, black label dc books that are created by writer artists like full-on cartoonist work you know and i'm really enjoying it i'm enjoying the purity of the vision i'm enjoying the um the insane visuals because both are just excellent artists and i'm also enjoying their takes on batman uh, and so i just wanted to do a little bit of fan art uh just because you know I really like those. <laughs> so here is uh, Grandpa's, at least my version of Grandpa's Gargoyle of Gotham, which uh, I have been drawing him with a little bit of that sort of Grandpa flair where you get like color holes happening on these, um, the black areas, and you get this really nice stark silhouette contrast thing. Uh, which is really fun. I think I might end up doing this type of thing on my own work now that I've sort of studied it from another artist. And I'm also doing my version of Christian Ward's Lovecraftian Batman, right? This is the Batman below. I don't... Yeah, I think the, the ish... The, I don't want to spoil anything. The, it, the, the third issue just came out. I think in the past month and it concluded the story and it was really cool and had some really big surprises so I'm not gonna talk too much about it but I really like the design of the Lovecraftian Batman uh, I have some references here boom so these are shots of grandpa's Batman and obviously the art is just gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. I could just look at these all day. And this is uh, Ward's Batman Below, which is also just amazing. And both artists are very different. Um, I feel like Ward is just way more painterly. Ward also handles his own colors. So a lot of his line work is drawn. It seems to be drawn with the idea of like it going straight to color after uh, and him doing a lot more work in the color zone. Whereas uh, Grandpa, very much, you know, borrowing from a lot of underground cartoonists. Uh, there's a lot of stippling in his work, a lot of form lines, a lot of fiddly details, which, you know, has this beautiful effect. And uh, it's, it's just, he's colored by someone else. Um, I don't remember who the color is. It might be Matt Hollingsworth. But the 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 way it looks in black and white, and there is a black and white version, it just holds up super duper well. Uh, so anyway, yeah, these are the inspirations for this drawing. So, figured I am a little bit further along now because I've been working on it on my commutes. Uh, let's put some music on and we can just start going. I want to... Hopefully get this to a nice finish within the hour uh, before I have to go ahead and do other things. So let's see if we can get this going. And uh, I will check the chat periodically. So if you have questions, um, comments, uh, I will. I'll, I'll check it out. Nice to see who's online at this weird time. But yeah, I, I, I'm really 
happy with the the way the background is looking because i didn't want to measure it i wanted it to look a little bit like janky because this is the gotham below and the idea is it's sort of like a poor copy of the gotham city that we know so the perspective's out of whack like i intentionally made it so the buildings are sort of um, going off in weird directions um, and i did a bit of flatting ahead of time so uh there we go that should help right boom rename you see just how badly my um layer organization is boom uh, but that should do all right i'm gonna look actually I think with barred stuff, you will have a strong sort of teal blue with some purple in it. And it looks like there's some textures in there. So I might do that at the end. Or I might just use the underdrawing for it. So let's throw a color in as our base color. And I'm gonna mess with this a bit using the hue saturation sliders. So we can see Kind of a cool, cooler version of this. Mm. We'll go down more to the blue edge. All right. And then, yeah, the eyes are very yellow. So we're going to throw that here. Something like that. <gasps> it looks so cool already. Okay. Something like that. The eyes are very yellow. But the rest is sort of like whatever. Yeah, I feel like there's a lighter and the darker, but like it, it seems like unspecific. So I'm actually gonna go with making this darker. Boom, something like that. And then I'm gonna make a lighter bat suit under. Maybe something in the teal greenish range but up slightly something like that let's green it out a bit and this is like a really fiddly Part of the process but i think i did a lot of legwork already so i mean i don't want these live streams to be super boring where i'm just like rendering out the smallest bit on the side you know hopefully it's in a more interesting spot than usual but i i really like i pushed the gargoyle uh sorry not the gargoyle the batman below's design a little extra out making him just a bit more monstrous because I liked the idea and anyway I think story-wise the character lends itself to it it's very soft design wise like you can just you can just play fast and loose with it whereas I think with grandpa's design it feels like it was made for at least the gargoyle of Gotham it feels like it was made for like to be usable as an actual cosplay or an action figure so you 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 have to be a little more precise with how you're drawing the gargoyle of gotham design still fun though
And I really, really love the tentacles. I think they're so funny and weird and cool. There's a lot to play with with this design. Hmm. Hmm. Something like that. Let's edit that a little bit. There we go. <sighs> Hopefully that looks better.
Oh, and for those of you who are new, uh, just to explain like the live stream concept, draw with me is um, it's a weekly or so live stream that I do, where the idea is that you know, uh, I just work on whatever it is I'm working on, and hopefully you guys can do the same. And it's sort of just to like stay inspired and a way to stay inspired and a way to keep working so that it feels a little more like, you know, there's someone else in your studio with you who is also doing their own work. Cause like being an artist can often be like a lonely endeavor. You know, we're usually plugging away alone at home so like i like to put on live streams where people draw when i'm drawing just to you know get inspired it makes it easier sometimes when you feel like someone else is working at the same time as you so yeah, i hope you guys find this useful This is also like a really weird time because it's like a Sunday morning, which is not when I usually do the live streams, but uh, I had a free morning and I have to do a bunch of work this afternoon. So this is kind of like my way to give myself some drawing time before I have to run off and, and be an adult. Hey, Lucy, Lucy Luziel in the house. Welcome. Happy Sunday, if it's Sunday where you are. I realize with time zones, it's not always that way. Boom. All right. Ooh, these tentacles look awesome. I'm gonna mess with it now. That's not the final color, obviously. I was thinking something purplish. Could be green. Ooh, green is a little better. Lucy says, how, how you doing? Getting out of the rut? Yep. Yes, I am. I'm, uh, I'm feeling a lot better since, um, since last week. Got myself, uh... It's, sometimes it's better to just talk about it, you know? I think, like... You know, knowing that you're not in a great place, maybe you're feeling a bit burned out, and talking it out loud allows you to sort of take some steps to mitigate the problem and to feel a little better about it. So um, I've had like a really good time stepping back here and there. I think one of the comments was like just advising me to to take a step back, see some friends, do other things, and then, you know, come back to the art a bit more refreshed. So actually, I've been playing a lot of Monster Hunter, <laughs> uh, and I've been hanging out with friends, like, outside of work. So, it's been good. I think, too, it's like, you know, uh, sometimes I, I can have, like, a runner's mentality when it comes to working on art, where you just... You feel like you should just power through, you know what I mean? Like, it, even if you feel pain or, or you feel like you can't handle it, just just keep going and, and draw regardless. But really, it, it, it helps. It can be just as productive to just step away, take stock, recharge, and then come back refreshed. So that's what I've been trying to do, you know? Get enough sleep, do all this other stuff. And it's been really good.
Yeah. Thank you for your comment, by the way, Lucy. I, I really appreciate it. I was reading through them this morning and, you know, um, was really moved by all the things people said. Just really thoughtful. Because, you know, it's not something... I don't think it's something unique. Like, I feel like a lot of people go through ruts every so often. A lot of artists feel as if, like, you know, they're not in a great place to make art and they feel like they have to force themselves to be there. I mean, I think that's normal. Especially if you're juggling, like, you know, other things. Full-time jobs, some people are full-time students, some people are taking care of other people. You know, there's a lot that happens outside of the art that we see and we we still need to live in balance with that right otherwise we burn out yeah I'm loving how these tentacles look. <laughs> They're so awesome. You know, this reminds me of... Um, I don't know if you guys know Ed Brubaker stuff. Ed Brubaker, Sean Phillips. They they had this series going a few years back called Fatal, which was a you know they, they they usually just do crime books but like this was a crime book, um, crossed with like Lovecraftian mythos like with cultists and like demons and otherworldly monsters and the lead is this um, femme fatale, uh, a woman who super beautiful but like you know keeps getting pushed into like a victim role. Um, but it's also immortal, like, you know, turns out she's immortal due to some, you know, plot twists. Uh, and, and like, I'm just reminded of the cover, because <laughs> the cover of that Fatal book is a mobster with, um, with just tentacles coming out of him. He has like a pinstripe suit, he's got like the mobster hat and everything, and... He's got, like, uh, tentacles coming out. And it's just the funniest thing ever. I love it. And obviously, the book isn't a comedy. It's, it's played seriously. But, you know, you can feel the author winking at you, you know, as they're doing it. Um, let's get some gray into these buildings. I'm gonna do a color hole... No, clipping mask here. And so my thinking is, I think I want to do like a warm cool with the buildings. Actually, I kind of want to do it like, uh, well, I don't know, something like that. Something like that. So I might do like a, a purple. Something like that. Purple. And then uh, an orange. And actually the background should be a bit brighter. Part of it is I'm trying to manage the, the blacks because I really want the Batman Gargoyle of Gotham, the guy in the front, um, to pop forward and if I make the colors too dark in the background uh, It's gonna like mess with the beauty of that silhouette, so Let's up the light on this Just a little scarier. I actually might make that sky red. We'll see uh, but first uh, We need to get some shadow on these buildings And for this I think I'm just gonna go with black, like that. Uh, but we will lower the opacity. There we go. 
something like that. We will lower the opacity and get it to um, gradient down. Hey Elvin, welcome, welcome. See, that's already looking good, I think. Um, and then we'll throw some darks here. It doesn't have to be even because as I said, this Gotham is like, it's the Gotham below. So it's like, it's very badly measured. It's a bad copy of the Gotham above. So I can afford to like, have the perspective be very wonky and weird. It's actually kind of cool that way, like just a little more. I will do something weird here though. I think I want, oops, I want a sharp edge here. So I'm gonna go and do that. The Marte Gracia coloring style, you know, boom. And then a thick, Airbrush, there we go. And that pops that other building forward. Uh, and then I should probably get those oranges in. So let's try this. This might be too bright, but we can... Uh, we can desaturate them moving forward as we try to get the balance of all the colors. And again, I don't want to be super precise with these flats because it's just, it's, it's cool if it's like a little wonky and a little off. I think it makes it a lot scarier when things are just slightly wrong. You get that uncanny valley feeling. We might add more. Let's put some windows here. And the fun thing is, like, the way this building is going with all that stuff, um, the lines give you a, a really nice feeling of, like, the momentum of the the fall, you know. I should have given myself more windows. <laughs> but, uh, I want to put orange everywhere, but we'll be tasteful about it. Whoop, okay. Maybe... Maybe these are windows. I'll just make those windows. Whoop. And actually, again, I want another hard edge here, so let's knock that out. Boop. Whoops. So I'm using the freehand selection tool here to sort of draw a a nice line behind this. 
and I'm gonna use a soft airbrush and again black on the other layer this one to give that building a bit more pop there we go I think that's cool and it helps it stand out I'm gonna do one more over here Boom. <laughs> Lucy says, Windows for the win. Yes. <laughs> windows for the win. But I don't have enough windows. Um, okay. I think this should be fine. Yeah, we don't want too many windows, right? It's going to make it look super... Um, it's going to make it look too bright and not as threatening as we want. Whoops. Uh, let's put windows here There just a little bit of orange there to peek it forward uh, I might throw something here And then some over here And I'm just drawing it in with color which I think is um, a fun way to color. I think uh, you don't always have to plan everything out to the to the last line. Sometimes it's good to leave yourself room to sort of like I was saying with Christian Ward stuff. It feels like his his line work is very open because he's um he's trying to leave room for himself to color his stuff in a weird way. All right, if you know you're gonna color your own stuff, it's then you can have fun because you you don't need to like be super tight with the pencils and everything. So I'm thinking these are just Reflections, but we'll see. Okay. Uh, that's feeling good. One more thing. Uh, I'm, I realize that we're having a very bad time separating this building and that. So I'm gonna... Whoops. I'm gonna do another one of those. Line work hold thingies. There we go. I think that will help if I put some black down there. Whoops, that's not what I wanted. Uh, although I could put some of that here on this side. It's kind of nice, right? Um, but I really want black. There we go. On this side. Nice. And hopefully that helps. Give, us, give a better sense of the dimension of the building, you know what I mean? Because I think some of these line weights were very, like, haphazardly managed. Uh-huh. So we can rescue it in color. There we go. Yeah, I think that's better. I might also do this. Whoops. Yeah, 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 that's cool. We'll do that. Boop, boop, boop. It's 
so yeah, if you haven't checked out these Gotham, Gargoyle of Gotham, and the other book, um, City of Madness, they're really cool. I mean, obviously, I wouldn't be doing fan art with, of them if, if they weren't. I'm just erasing into the shadow forms I did a while ago. So give me a little bit more. But I don't want to do too much because I think this top area should really be in shadow. There we go. And then lastly, let's see if... <laughs> I want a really crazy brush. Uh... Let's see, something painterly, something like, ooh, this, fresco. Let's use that, and let's see if we can do, yeah, something like that, maybe, yeah. Ooh, that's a little too much. Is it too much? Yeah, it's too much. Uh, What do I want? Gosh. Maybe Aurora. Oh, this is it. Distress press. Okay, this is what I'm going to use. Good. So, I'm going to use this to create some texture across Gotham here. And actually, it should be under the window layer. I know it looks like a lot, but we're going to reduce it. So we're going to do a maybe a layer mode, a blending mode, something like that. I might put it up. Something like that. Okay. And then we'll do So with the Batman below, I really want some I want some oranges on him. So we'll do that. What? No. We'll do too many brushes, man. I mean, what did Christian Ward do? I really like how the reds go here. That's so cool. That's so badass. Um, actually, instead of red, I might do like a light layer first. Right? Just to give a sense that the light is hitting. And I'm gonna knock some of this out. Let me see. Uh, something like this. Just a subtractive erase to pop the hand forward and we'll do some highlights on it too but I think it's cool because it'll give a sense of like 
the light traveling across the wings. So there's the light, and then now I want to do a little bit more of that. Whoops. Like here. some over here and smudge this around with some of that I love drawing monsters. I just, I love drawing monsters. They're so fun. It's fun to play with the anatomy. It's fun to exaggerate here and there. And like a big monster Lovecraft Batman is just too much to resist. He's so cool. Just notice there's a spot which should not exist in there. There we go. <laughs> that looks so awesome. Oh, I love it. Okay, let's see what happens if we throw some blood in here. Boom. I'm gonna use like a wet brush. Um something like this like wet acrylic yeah
Yeah, I think that looks super dope. Maybe too much? Is it too much blood? Nah. I don't think so. I think it's fine. More blood. <laughs> And then uh, let's mess with the, well, so one of the things is I kind of want, I feel like the grandpa Batman needs to be like a little more in the environment. So let's give him a bit of shade. There we go. Something like that. Just so it doesn't feel like he's like in a completely different world, you know what I mean? That's fine. Um, this is a bit dark. Let's swoof it out a bit. Start putting some special effects. Let's see. I think there's like some spatter here. Purple. I might throw some intense purple somewhere. Yeah, I might do it in the background. So let's let's grab something cool. Give me that. That's cool. Like a darker purple. Let's shift this track once this is. Okay. So maybe this, but purple. Like that. And I might actually use like a special effects brush here. We have a bunch of default brushes. I like clouds. This is like a Procreate default brush. And it'll give you like, oh, it's a little too saturated. Something like that. Yeah. It'll give you these uneven clouds which which work really well for you know. Just giving a little texture to the background. I might use a magenta, yeah.
Yeah, that feels like the Gotham below. Let's... Now I think the buildings can be crazier. Bye, Luzi. Thanks so much for being here. Um, I'll see you around. Happy Sunday. <laughs> like that okay now that we purpled it out now i feel like we can yellow it out let's put some actually let's duplicate this duplicate saturation let's yellow it out like a brighter yellow and i'm gonna put that under and I'm gonna do a Gaussian blur. There we go. To give it a bit of that otherworldly feel. Just adding some of those weird textures in. I figured a green works really well. And then I flip it to see how it feels. I might actually, so now I have this, right? It's something I drew earlier. Let's throw it in. Yeah, I like that. Mess with it a little bit. Whoops.
That looks cool. Um, okay. Just up the gray on that a bit. And she wanted to throw like a specular here. something like that which looks pretty cool and we flip it sideways to see how it looks yeah Ooh, I like this playlist a lot Okay, I think I should wrap up the stream soon. This is in a pretty good place. I'm just lowering opacities here and there. I might throw some stars in the background. the signature in here otherwise it's not real so I'm gonna throw one there's a lot of places where I can put it but I'm gonna put it over here There we go. All right, and that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed this little live stream session. Um, I hope you uh, had a good time. I hope you got some progress done on your own stuff. And uh, I'll see you on the next video. So yeah, have a good day, guys. Peace.